Hello friends, this is Jagbir Singh and today we are going to learn about a new topic which is related to the pipes and plant rooms and it is very very important topic for Revit MEP perspective as well as the pipe fabricators. So this is going to give you information about pipe. So, so the topic is pipe cut list and pipe spools. So uh, if you are a uh, pipe fabricator or a MEP engineer speci specifically like mechanical stream then you must be aware about the pipe cut list. Pipe cut list is nothing but a list of all the pipe which are required to be installed and information like their length, what is their category, what is their material and what are the uh, pipe accessories and fittings and their quantity like what how many number of the walls are required how many numbers of uh, band are required what type of band are required what is their material uh, exact information about their quantity and everything um, in a plant room so the point is why we need to have a cut list because whenever you are having uh, a, a to do a fabrication of a particular plant which is which is having enormous number of pipes then you must be aware uh, about the challenges related to its logistics so for example if i am uh, i am having pipes of variable sizes for example my, my pipe sizes in my plant room like this one uh, starting from uh, 15 mm dia and raising to 300 mm dia or 200 mm dia so i must have a track list or a track record of all the pipes so whenever i have to uh, i have to give a tender of the uh, pipe fabrication then i can i can hand over all those uh, spooling drawings or the pipe cut list to the to my fabricator if i'm subcontracting my work or if somebody if if i'm doing it in house then for my uh, fabricator uh, i have to provide a very detailed drawing so so later on in upcoming videos we will be doing like uh, uh, fabrication drawings for my uh, for example this particular plant room so so please stay tuned for for those upcoming videos and i think you should subscribe and keep your notification on so that whenever i am posting those videos you will get notified so uh, so let's let's uh, understand this pipe cut list thing so pipe cut list uh, uh, is kind of a bill of material or bill of quantities uh, of a particular spool of pipe if you want to understand what is pipe spool i have created a view specifically uh, for you from the this plant room so this is my chiller and so this is one uh, one of my pipe which is of 200 dia you can see here and this is my uh, chilled water return pipe and you can see this pipe uh, material and uh, what is the diameter and all those information are listed here so so i have to uh, when i i need to uh, get this pipe fabricated so i need to tell what is this particular length and then what coupling is there then what is this small pipe as my drain coke is there then what type of band i am using and then what is this particular length because the main reason why we do the cut list is because whenever we have to make the fabrication and uh, then all these pipes comes as a standard uh, in the market they doesn't come in a like infinite length as as we required so what we have to do we have to per purchase these pipes in a particular uh, standardized length from the market and then we need to uh, then we need to like join or cut a certain length so that we can we can reach from the one equipment to the other so this is my one spool this entire run of my pipe is one spool so you can see there is a pipe which which is having very long length but there is a pipe which is having very short length so according to these lengths we we need to calculate the total total length of the pipe required so that we can do uh, uh, we, we can tender out our pipe requirement that means we can place our order according to the pipe length required so this type of list can provide how many number of pipe i must need or must order 
in one what particular diameter size so this way this helps me out in tendering process also so so uh, my pipe cut list will tell me exact information about number of couplings number of pipe accessories for example there is a there is a valve here and then there are the flanges so whenever i have to whenever i have to install these things i am not uh, in not in a situation where there is a lack of the particular type of accessories or or fittings on the side so that uh, my side work cannot be hampered or i should not over order my uh, my equipments or my or my pipe accessories or whatever it is needed so this particular uh, approach uh, of creating uh, spool drawings or pipe cut list helps me uh, to make my construction or installation cost effective and hassle free and very well detailed so if i have a very well detailed drawing like uh, let me show you one example here so this is kind of a spool so it is giving what is the uh, the total length this way and what is the total height how number uh, so it is giving some sort of numbering 11 12 12 so it will give you it uh, it will give you a corresponding list over here like this it in which we have to tell what is number 12 so um, pardon my handwriting it is very bad so you have to you have to give description here what is the description as number 9 or number 12 how many numbers what is the diameter what is the material and and this way we can give our remarks as well so so this pipe cut list previously we what we used to do is like we used to create that by hand as a draft man but right now there are so many good tools uh, with revit you can do it very automatically and very uh, very systematically you can create so many uh, so many pipe spool drawings in one go one of such tool uh, is victolic tool so in victolic tool you can create your like pipe spools you can create your uh, uh, pipe spool sheets for uh, for fabrication department and you can create uh, the assemblies of particular plants so so uh, about this particular uh, uh, victolic tool uh, i am creating a series uh, in which i will be posting my second video tomorrow and uh, and you can watch that it will be about how to create a uh, cut list from uh, from using victolic tool uh, from a, for a uh, plant room so so i would like you to uh, make one very very uh, specific request to all of you that please like my video because because it really helps me to reach more people if you like the video it it uh, helps me to reach more people through youtube algorithm so uh, i see like there are like there are like over uh, 10000 20000 50000 views on my videos but there are only 100 likes so if you if i get less likes that means i cannot reach more people so it is very important that if you like this video so i am creating a very uh, detailed uh, tutorial series on revit mep plant room design and my uh, like duct system and all those topics so if you want to if you want me to make any particular video on any particular topic then you can ask me into the comment section and i will try to make a video for that so i will be creating videos on uh, how to create uh, like revit families and uh, and so this is my plant room uh, so we will be creating uh, spool drawings for this particular plant room and uh, all the mechanical equipments you can see this this pump this this is my pump family of willow pumps which i i recently made a video on how to create this pump in revit so that video link i will give you in my uh, in the description you can watch that so this was the pump which which i created using 
uh, using Revit family. So this is my uh, and, and information was there, uh, but I created step by step tutorial for how to create this particular pump. So there are lots of videos on my channel. You can watch them and uh, and you can leave your comments and please make sure you su subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more videos uh, to uh, wait for the tomorrow's videos. So this is Jagbir Singh signing off. Thank you. Jandia Javad.